yeah, about the Toastmaster, right? And this is only four minute video. I am sure that this gives some idea, but not full idea about the Toastmaster. And if you want to really take the experience of Toastmaster meeting, I request come into the any club or come into our club, Barney Toastmaster Club, and take the experience of Toastmasters meeting. And believe me, you will find one thing that the Toastmaster Club made the leaders. Today, we have many leaders in the club and we are, we are very lucky that today we have our area director, Toastmaster Himanshu. I request Toastmaster Himanshu, just put the, some his views on the Toastmasters and Toastmaster Club. Over to Toastmaster Himanshu. Uh, I hope I'm audible. Yes, yeah. you are. Okay, good morning. Good morning, everyone. And it's, uh, it's wonderful to see so many people coming in on a Sunday morning and taking out time for this. So I welcome all of you to this special meeting. And uh, since um, uh, Toastmaster Santosh has asked me, so what I will share is something from my own personal life, right? So I also, like all of you, in some way or the others, had heard about Toastmasters, right? And one of my colleagues who was in IBM, he was part of my team member. He was a part of my team. He used to say, sir, aap join karega, join karega, and this, that. But then I never, you know, I used to think, fine, you continue. I have, you know, more things to do and all that. Later on, he also told me that there is something starting for the kids, which is a offshoot of Toastmasters for the kids called as Gavis Club. At least you get your son enrolled. So anyway, for my son, I did get enrolled. And my son normally is very quiet. He wouldn't talk and all that. But then over time, I could see a massive change in his way of speaking, communicating, responding. So much so that I want to share that uh, just about uh, in 2019, he actually represented his school and he went uh, to a debate contest to Yale University. And then he got, uh, he, he did manage to get a few awards also in Yale University. And subsequently in 2019, actually I joined uh, Toastmasters. So my journey, it's, a, it's, it's, it's just about two, a little more than two years. But the fact is, that every meeting I have been learning. So, so the fact is that I spent about 15 years in IBM. Currently, I'm a director with the big four consulting com company. And I look after telecom, media and entertainment and technology. And so for me, communication is something which we have always been doing. And yet what I find is there are massive takeaways from each meeting that I attend. Right. What I what I also what also intrigued me was in these meetings. Sometimes you find people who are Toastmasters for two decades. They have won a whole lot of speech, you know, awards. They have they have lived their life, and yet they still continue. So this journey of improving communication, I believe, is like it's like a painting. You know, it's never complete. You can always go on. You can add more color. You can add more thing. And you keep on, keep on learning. So that's about personal thing. The second thing is, this is one organization where we all come in and it is not that somebody is asking us, we get paid, right? We get paid in our company for work, but this is an investment that we are doing not because of money, right? This is an investment that we are doing because we want more confident to become more confident speakers. And the process is such that while we try this, we also help others, right? So it is, it is a very mutual uh, organization where there is nothing wrong. So when I stand up and today, if I fumble, right? If I say, ah, mm, and, and everybody will say, still, when I end my speech, people will say, Himanshu, your speech was very nice. You did this, 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 you smile you had eye contact. However, you should keep, you know, keep track of the R's and arms and, you know, these are the ways you can avoid them. So the environment is such a cordial environment that automatically all of us, you know, add value and grow. 
so this friend of mine who whom i i i i refer to was my team incidentally he has studied in the haryana board he did not know english till class 9 right today he is a distinguished toastmaster which is like the highest level of of being a, a toastmaster he has been a division uh, a district director which means he had india and you know some other countries also under him and he was and he has also authored a book in english huh? move mountains one step at a time so that's the name of his book mukesh lakotia so this is a guy who did not know english went on and then he did his mba from iim lucknow so you see the modification and transformation and today also you know he gives he attributes this to toastmasters so the fact is this is one organization which is as uh, toastmaster santosh said it is a ngo and it is too good to be true today we if you know if we order one pizza we'll be spending some 300 400 rupees right so actually the amount that is spent is hardly anything and this is an investment on on the self so i would i would strongly recommend you to you know whatever i say it is i am saying you know it is maybe you know you might think that i am trying to sell something but the fact is uh, you know as they say that uh, the taste of the i mean there's a uh, proverb or something that uh, it is in the taste right that uh, the so so do come and attend a meeting and you will see what is happening what is the environment incidentally the baner club is one of the best clubs in pune and it has it has got many senior uh, members who have risen and are today district leaders right so i what i would recommend and i would request you is to come attend a meeting listen and see what difference you believe it can make your life so thank you and uh, toastmaster santosh thank you toastmaster uh, <coughs> himanshu and it's always good to listen you and the one person like you say that toastmaster really changed the life so really it's something a word from the tester source and i also personally believe that uh, i have the more than 3 yeah 3 years experience in a toastmaster that it's really changed the life and now uh, i am going to call on the stage our v- vp membership shivani and she is a product manager in it company and she is going to play some a small uh, some uh, some role where you try to understand how communications and impromptu communication develop so please help me welcome to call toastmaster shivani on the stage and start our impromptu session for you toastmaster shivani thank you toastmaster santosh for having me here a very good good morning to presiding officer area director my fellow toastmasters and dear guests how are you all doing on a sunday morning you fine just fine on a sunday morning all good <laughs> Uh, I really it's a special day so it should be fantastic right really great yeah. something different okay that's good to hear so today i'll play as a table topic master for you today with, with which is a small exercise uh, you could say for the next 20 to 30 minutes we'll have this exercise now what actually is this session this session is basically an impromptu speaking session where you all get a chance to speak for 15 seconds and followed by table topics which will be speaking for 1 to 2 minutes so this is basically divided into two parts first is round robin session and second is impromptu speaking on table topics where you get to uh, speak for 1 to 2 minutes uh now round robin set for round robin session i'll be speaking uh, for 15 seconds with a sentence okay and then you need to continue with the story and you get a chance to speak for 15 seconds for the same you you should continue the story which i am going to build and to give you a gist about it uh, go back to the times uh, when you had to make excuses uh, to not come on time and not complete any assignment or any other excuse for that matter 
what would be your first instinct? You start thinking, right? And if you answer confidently, confidently, there are chances the other person might believe you for whatever the reason may be. So it's very important that we learn the art of speaking on our feet and to learn the art of speaking on the go. So I'll start with a sentence of round robin and you get 15 seconds to uh, continue upon. Shivam, can you please uh, share the 15 second timer uh, with you so that I can call out the just names? Yeah, just give me a second. Uh, can I start? Yes. It was a Saturday night. I slept off watching my favorite TV series, but I didn't want to miss up the open house session of BTMC, but I slept three in the night and then Toastmaster Sandosh. Yes. As you said that we planned yesterday that today's open house i was worried that how many guests will join because sunday mornings sometime lazy morning for all of us and we are working from home for a long time so we think that home is also office so we do not want to make office yeah anil anil can you please uh, continue the story Okay, I'll ask Anshu. Hello. Hi, good morning. Are you hearing me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, I'll try to continue the story. I wake up uh, very late at 9 a.m. in the morning. And I was very worried. Oh my God, it's too late. Now, uh, and I tried to uh, doing some work very fast. And then. Thank you, Tish. Guys, please. Guys, please. Try to speak. Try to whatever speak. You whatever want to you speak. want to. Venkatesh, we cannot hear you. Hello? Yes, we can hear you now. Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. And after that, I got to realize that one of my friends told me to join Postmasters meeting. Uh, then I, I, I was like, it's a nice chance to build my uh, uh, personality, so I joined the meeting. Got him. Uh, then when I opened the Zoom meeting, I saw Santosh uh, and lots of the members who are in my office. So it was great to see them after long in this pandemic because we are all are doing work from home, but we are not getting time to meet. Himanshu. So, so when I see so many faces on the Sunday morning, I was really very excited. And I was just wondering that how nice it would be when we would meet face to face and I would get so many new friends easily coming and uh, getting added to my, to my group of friends. Tajil. Yeah, so it's uh, nice to see so many people on the Sunday morning as we are all doing work from home. So we just need to connect with the same people for the six, seven days. So it was required to have some new people on Sunday. <laughs> I request everyone to turn on their video, please. Kiran? You there, Kiran? 
Okay, let's move on. Uh, Mois. Then uh, I am also uh, then I am also worry about that uh, if someone is uh, telling me that uh, speak on some topic, then I am not prepared for for that topic. Uh, so that is worrying about uh, me as well because this is the open meeting. So I don't know. Shikal. Me as well. Like I am also worried about the you know uh, instant topic, and I have to speak there. So yes, uh, I was not that much confident, but now I'll uh, be confident about how to speak in uh, public. So that's that's it. Toastmaster Devish. So after sleeping at three three a.m., I was uh, I was dreaming about already Toastmaster is going on and Toastmaster Sivan is presenting a uh, topic of Toastmasters, so that. And suddenly at nine thirty, I wake up and I okay, open house is already open. Oh, started, but uh, yeah. Okay. Nikhil. Nikhil, you there? Okay. Uh, Himanshu Yadav. Himanshu Yadav, you there? I think I am here. Yeah. yeah. Early morning. I wake up early morning and uh, start calling the people to join uh, Toastmaster Club. And uh, it's nice to see all are online now. So whatever time of the day it might be, impromptu speaking always helps. I mean, there are multiple benefits, countless benefits of impromptu speaking. I mean, it, it develops your thinking, organizing, presenting on, you know, just drop up a hat. So it always helps. Toastmaster Shubham. You are in mute. Mute. Yeah. So when I just wake up, I I got call from Santosh and he told me yes we have to do open uh, open house and I am just uh, waked up and create certificates and all this thing for guests just because they come to our club and they learn public speaking. Uh, one with the red green name on the phone. <laughs> You there? Uh, the one who has named himself or herself as a red me. Okay. Did I miss anyone? Or uh, does anyone want to continue? Anil, did you come back? Okay. All right. So we'll move to the table topic section right now. So now what actually is this table topic session? So you will be given a topic where you get to speak for one to two minutes to, uh, to qualify uh, for best table topic speaker. You need to speak maximum for two minutes, 30 seconds and minimum of one minute. Okay. Uh, now, uh, when you are given a table topic, uh, table topic to speak upon, don't just uh, jump to the topic, right? Uh, what I have learned from our growth uh, club growth director, Toastmaster Sanjay, is that when you have been given a topic, let's say cow, then don't just directly jump to cow. You talk about the tree, you talk about the grass, you talk about the surroundings near the cow, what the cow does, and then jump to the cow. If it's a statement, you can either agree with it or you can disagree with it, but don't just directly jump to it. What happens because of this, that in a one to two minutes of time frame, you get to utilize that time. You have more content to speak upon. You can build a story around that topic and be creative, as creative as you can. Impromptu speaking helps us to develop four skills. L-T-O-D. L means listening, where I'll mention the topic only twice. 
after which you take 30 minutes, pause for a 30, uh, 30 seconds to think about the topic. T, thinking, getting your points all together. Third, organizing. The response would be a speech with the beginning, middle and end, and the final delivery. There are three things which are happening parallel where you're thinking of what content you're gonna deliver, what you have to speak, organizing them and delivering them at the same time. So whenever you cannot think about it, just pause for a little while, pause for a few seconds, organize it and come back again and speak on that. There are stories attached to every topic we hear. So try to inculcate your own story in that topic. I'll uh, move to the table topic section and I'll give a topic to you. Does anyone have any uh, doubts regarding this, how it's going to perform? Uh, Shivani, I, I would recommend that uh, you first call uh, some senior yes, yes. Toastmasters. I'll, I'll take care of that. Before that, uh, does anyone have any questions regarding this activity? Okay, cool then. Uh, then I'll call uh, Toastmaster Himanshu. Uh, can you please uh, nominate yourself for the table topic session? Sure. Okay. Toastmaster Shubham, can you please share the screen for timer? Just give me a second. Sure. It's with the tmtimer.calabgroup.com if you're searching for it. Okay. Toastmaster Himanshu, you were logged in a room with a tiger, a lawyer, and a single door. Now plan to escape. You were logged in a room with tiger, lion, and single door. Now plan to escape. Toastmaster Himanshu. Good morning, everyone, again. A tiger and a lion and a door. What a wonderful scenario that would be. And let me tell you, my dear friends, I am someone who has spent five long years in Africa, in Kenya. And so lions and animals generally fascinate me. So the first thought, that I got from this uh, comment is, should I be actually running? But the thought that came in is what my wife would do is put the lens, take the picture and shoot them, right? So that is what I would like to do. And normally my observation, and this comes from somebody who has visited all Masai Mara, Serengeti, all those places, because I lived for five years in Don't hunt just for the fun of it, you know. So you, I have seen lions sitting and deers passing by because they are fed. So my thing is, and my humble submission or my observation is, probably I will not have a chance to look and think for a door if one of them is hungry. But then if they aren't, then I can pick up my camera, I can adjust, and probably I can take one of those unique pictures where you have a lion and a tiger in the same shot and probably that would be a winning shot in some national geographic channel so thank you i mean that was a wonderful idea that uh, uh, toastmaster shivani gave me and uh, 
I would say I look forward to this opportunity. Thank you, and over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Himanshu, for attempting it. So, for everyone, if you have realized what Toastmaster Himanshu did, he paused for a few seconds after listening the topic. He repeated the topic once again to analyze and give the thoughts of what it actually is. Then he built a story around it, his own personal story he related with it, and then delivered. So you can use the same technique in your own speeches as well. Now, uh, I would li uh, like to ask guests uh, who, uh, if they want to nominate themselves. Otherwise, I'll pick up myself. But if anyone is uh, does want to go first. Can I? Sure, sure, Kajal. Thank you. So uh, I'll move with your topic. Toastmaster, Ka uh, sorry, guest Kajal, your version of how the world would be in 2060. Your version of how the world would be in 2060. Guest Kajal. Okay. Yeah, I can start. Okay, so the topic is how the world would be in 2060. To be honest, um, automation is going to be one of the impo important aspect of the human life. So in the 2060, we can say that life will be automated. If you are going anywhere, there will be the automation. If you are going in the bank, if you are going the railway station, bus station, school, if you are going in a cab, car, automobiles, everywhere you can see, you will be able to see the automation. As I'm a, uh, I'm a technical recruiter, so I can say that the uh, world is going to change by 2060 because AI is like uh, growing, like uh, you can say aggressively growing AI, machine learning and uh, yeah, and world will be the small. I think the traveling will be the easiest uh, once uh, automation will be there. So by the 2060, yeah, world would be like, uh, okay, yeah, but it, it can affect our health as well because there will be less uh, human efforts over there. So I can say that we should now focus on our health more because life is going to be easy by 2060. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, thank you, to, uh, thank you guest Kajal uh, for attempting the topic. I so hope it's, it should be easy by 2060 like you mentioned. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Uh, does anyone, anybody else want to move forward? So one you can call Asis, Saurabh. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll anyways call everyone if they don't nominate <laughs> themselves. <laughs> Ashish, uh, do you want to move forward? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, all right. So your topic is guest Ashish. Whatever you do compounds habits, money, and everything. Whatever you do compounds habits, money, and everything. Guest Ashish. Uh, sorry, could you please repeat? Sure. Whatever you do compounds habits, money, and everything. Okay. Whatever do you compound, have it, money, and everything. I request the speaker to please turn on their video when they're speaking. Uh, yeah, it's on. So let's start. Uh, in the life, all things are important, like money is important. Our habits that are very important, and uh, that depends on everything uh, like uh, that's needed in our life. So if that's uh, if this remains same, that means we are not growing. That means we are not uh, uh, do anything extra in our life. So uh, 
we need to up, uh, upgrade our habits we need to uh, we need to earn more money to live better and we do something to get everything in our life uh, so yeah that means all are all are in the compounds are very uh, really necessary in our lives uh, uh, because uh, these are the depends on everything that uh, that's my habits uh, uh, if my habits are good that then becomes me to be more successful in terms of money in terms of everything and if my life if i have money i have everything in my life i can do everything in my life so uh, yeah compounds in these all factors are very necessary and that i think thank you guest ashish for a wonderful attempt i am sure it will compound i recently started investing and then i my father every every time tells me you will realize the compounding effect later on in your life so whatever you said is really true yeah and also my uh, inspiration later is in this meeting and uh, he taught me like uh, if you invest in everything like in time in your in knowledge in your skills in your money that that means you are go- growing yourself you are growing your money you are growing your uh, habits so thank you toastmaster santosh for uh, teaching me everything <laughs> totally agree yeah, guys sash is totally yeah. agree moving on saurabh would you like to go forward mm, yes okay <laughs> guess saurabh if you had to teach something what would you teach if you had to teach something what would you teach guess saurabh yes so teaching is something which is very uh, what we can say difficult thing because uh, if i talk about the teaching uh, there is something it is a art uh everybody can't do it uh the people who can do are the what we can say they are the fabulous job they are doing so the question right now which is here is like if i got a chance to teach someone so what should i teach to someone so it is all about the knowledge which everyone have like if the knowledge which i have uh, it should not uh, be with the other and the other should have the knowledge which uh, the other person have that should not be in me so knowledge is something something which can be shared whatever i know and whatever he knows and knowledge is something which we can share with each other so if i talk about the teaching thing uh, see everyone nowadays can learn from every anything but being a uh, like what we can say like being a good human is something which is necessary uh, nowadays which uh we cannot teach someone or we cannot uh what we can say it is something which uh we should uh have to learn by my own and if i want to get chance to teach someone then there is something i would love to say that uh I, whatever the knowledge which i have i will love to share uh, whatever the expertise in which i have uh, i will love to teach someone uh to benefit other yeah thank you thank you guys sara for attempting it i totally agree with whatever you have told that teaching is something which you can learn when you express your knowledge to somebody else and that's a very crucial art of what you have delivered thank you so much does anybody else want to move forward or i should nominate i should pick up okay Sheetal, uh, would you like to go forward? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Can you also please turn on your video? Yes, yes. Just so that I could be more interactive with you. Yes. Can you see me? Are you able to see me now? Um. Yes. Yes. Sheetal. Thank you so okay. much. So for your to- uh, topic, mm-hmm. let me see. guest sheetal the weirdest food combination you have tried the weirdest food combination you have tried guest sheetal okay 
just give me one minute at uh, one second i'll think and sure. i'll start okay i'll start the weirdest food combination is curd and fish <laughs> yes uh, i heard about those things like uh, if you eat a uh, curd along with the fish then definitely you will get you know stomach pain and you will do uh, you know your health uh, will be impacted by those uh, combination there's so a lot of uh, combinations are there uh, that you do not eat uh, you know in a time span like you know you know 2 hours uh, in between 2 hours if you are eating a curd then you should take at least uh, you know a gap of 2 to 3 hours and then eat a uh, fish or maybe uh, you know different kind of stuff so the uh, i have tried this combination and uh, you know i felt so uh, you know uh, you know I, this impacted on my health that i vomited and uh, i got you know uh, stomach pain so that is the combination which i truly recommend that don't try even <laughs> if you are going to eat uh, curd along with the fish yeah well i am a vegetarian guys shital but so i i am not <laughs> sure how the combination would have turned out but i i, I know all the non vegetarians could have related it to it <laughs> yeah i am a very uh, you know core uh, non vegetarian <laughs> you can say that <laughs> okay thank you for attempting the topic shital thank you so much uh does anybody else want to move forward nikhil uh, do you want to start Okay, Moyes, do you want to try out? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, so your topic is guest Moyes. You have planned to leave for a weekend, and suddenly manager added to you to a meeting. You have planned to leave for a weekend, and suddenly manager added you to a meeting. Guest Moyes. okay yeah i can start so um last we uh, last from last two weeks uh, i have planned uh, actually not for weekend i have planned for three days leaves from friday to uh, sunday but um, uh, not on a uh, friday but uh, on saturday morning my manager called me that uh, we have one uh, important meeting as uh, you know uh, the event is uh, coming uh, on monday and we have to uh, complete uh, few things uh, from our end for marketing uh, marketing things and content things so you should uh, attend this meeting and i am uh, sending you a uh, sending you invitation of the uh, meeting invitation of the meeting so just uh, uh, come uh, uh, just join uh, from you know uh, after uh, 30 minutes uh, and be ready so um, yeah uh, and then uh, i just uh, open my laptop and uh, uh, open the teams uh, connect the vpn all the things and then i uh, also uh, set because this is the weekend and i also plan the holidays but uh, that that is the i have no option because this is my job so yeah and then i finally then i joined the meeting and uh, you don't think about that the meeting is uh, very you know two hours uh, for planning all the things so that is the uh, uh, you know that is uh, horrible things uh, for me because i have planned the whole for holidays that's the thing yeah thank you guest boys i could really catch your heart now <laughs> <laughs> okay do we have toastmaster santosh uh, some more time to accommodate more guests yes yes and uh, guest uh, we are doing the uh, one small competitions and uh, after this meeting after this 
table topic we announce the results so please be us guest venkatesh would you like to move forward guest venkatesh you there okay um himanshu yadav uh, would you like to try am i audible yes right yes yes himanshu uh, would you like to try on okay who else is left Anshu, would you like to give it a try? Sure. So, our uh, guest, Anshu, your topic is the best trip you have gone for. The best trip you have gone for, uh, for guest Anshu. okay to best trip to gone for okay um it was uh, um i think uh, like three or four uh, years back when uh, me my husband my kids are going to the um, goa trip my uh, son was very small and he enjoyed a lot that time uh, um yeah we have very sweet memory and um, lots of thing there <laughs> uh, this time i'm not narrating more and more uh, this is a first experience actually and uh, that's it thank you thank you anshu at least you attempted it and i have known that your memory is for goa good to hear that thank you so much for attending and coming on the stage anybody else we have nikhil venkatesh uh, are you in okay i think uh, i've covered everyone in the meeting uh, toast master santosh would you like yes. to give it a try if you have time no no uh, i think we cover all guest and uh, sarab are we ready uh, subham sorry are you ready with the with the poll just give me a second sir actually ha uh -huh. or should and we do I one last one with shivani only yes yeah. <laughs> i think we can leave the topic master you can leave <laughs> okay okay fine fine so i'll give you a topic um okay so the topic for you is laziness is satisfying okay after working for 5 days a week now it's 6 days a week for me because even saturdays are working it feels like i have been working for like 84 years in my life when i finally shut down my laptop on friday night or saturday night now it feels i i really want to sleep for two more days and get up again recover myself and recharge myself so what i usually do i lay down on my bed whole sunday giving myself a lazy relaxation to recover myself for the next week you can't believe how satisfying it is 
the satisfaction of lying just on your bed and doing nothing no productivity nothing to do for even the even the food comes at your own bed when you need to when you are hungry and you call your mom i just need food at my own bed please give me and if there is somebody to feed me on can you please also do that but she doesn't do that <laughs> and okay but uh, other than that whatever lazy stuff i do on a sunday it's it's really satisfying i i do uh, tell you that maybe once a week once at uh, once a day in a week you try lying down on your bed doing nothing thinking about nothing no more responsibilities and you will feel that laziness is really satisfying thank you so much uh, toast match to himachu that was wonderful wonderful yeah and the, your reference to bed you know and and i'm sitting close to it <laughs> <laughs> seems very inviting <laughs> you try on <laughs> okay uh, over to you uh, uh, toastmaster santosh yeah and thank you very much uh, toastmaster shivani to conducting such nice uh, impromptu session and guest i believe that you have realized that you all speak to minimum 2 minutes and you can imagine what kind of confidence you have when you are speaking in from the unknown people no matter the <clears throat> stage is virtual or stage is real but the confidence really matter and this is a new medium to connect the human these days we are very good when we interacting with the machine we are very good we interacting the platform but sometime we feel hesitation sometime we feel fear and sometime we feel unconfidence or low confidence when we interact with strangers when we interact our senior we when we interact our bosses because we blank and believe me and trust me and i think you will realize that this small small practice make you perfect so i request please cast your vote based on your choice and toast masters club any club is help to you compounding confidence every meeting add a small confidence and force you to believe in yourself as himanshu said that his directors he has so many experience he has so many experience in corporate still he is in learning form because he believe <clears throat> he not all we believe that learning and growth is a journey and not a destination so Some people are remaining please vote yeah so i request to both who as per your choice who is the best speaker please vote so that we can release some certificates and definitely gift voucher if you want to really know more about the toastmaster and toastmaster international and bane toastmaster club how to join it what is the program how it can benefit in your growth journey and push you extra and help you to make as a leaders help you make as a confident communicators and help you to develop as a nice human being so please connect toastmaster shivani she will help you how to join and how to develop communication skill through the toastmasters so Sandosh, sir, uh, yeah. Please, uh, if uh, two or three guys are not uh, voted, so please vo uh, cast the vote. So we will go for a uh, uh, moment of glory. I request all cast your vote. We are in democratic country, so I think we should exercise our voting rights. And Toastmasters is also democratic. have you received uh, no i think eight people are voted i think three more are uh, three more have to vote just because some are uh, left the meeting 
Okay, we'll go with that. Okay. So, guys, do you have any question? Please ask me. And we have uh, senior and seasoned Toastmaster with us, Toastmaster Sivani and Himanshu. Definitely, they will help you. Yes. Okay, now, now I'll just rephrase my, uh, rephrase my question. Share your experience of this meeting. Guest Moise. Experience is very good. And um, I'm ne I'm, I've never participated uh, on the spot topic uh, speaking. Uh, this is, I think, uh, if I remember, uh, then I think this is the first one. And um, I, I hope this is a good thing. I, whatever I speak, whatever I uh, um, deliver my speech uh, on a topic, table topic, and also on uh, instant uh, uh, yeah, the situation which uh, Shivani has given. So, yeah, that is the thing. Uh, so, explain is very good, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And all thanks for uh, you only, Santosh. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, guest Asis. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, so joining the first meeting uh, for Toastmaster is being pending from uh, around two years. And uh, finally, I got chance to join the meeting. And uh, really, th this is a very good experience for me uh, to interact with you all, to interact with strangers and talking about the uh, topics, instant topics. Yeah, that is a very uh, uh, great and uh, good experience for me and it's wonderful morning. So yeah, I'm looking forward to join the club and uh, yeah, definitely I, I'll uh, process for the further. Thank you, thank you, uh, Asis. And uh, we have yeah. Venkates. Venkates, please unmute yourself. Hello. Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, it was a nice experience, experience in the meeting. Actually, I'm sorry I was disconnected for some time, but uh, I I got to know that Toastmaster is a nice platform to improve uh, my skills. So I look forward to join it. Thank you, and I know that I know that I know that I know that connecting and disconnecting and disconnecting part and parcel of the online, online, meeting, online meeting, but ultimately, but ultimately, you connect it again. It's really, really matter. Yes, so, so yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you, and uh, guest Nikhil. Guest Nikhil, please unmute yourself and uh, please share your feedback. Okay, let's move. Yes, Tansu, could you unmute yourself and share your feedback? Yes, um, it's really very nice. Um, it's uh, I enjoyed this uh, meeting, and uh, it's a uh, uh, recall me my college days. Um, it's really good. Okay. But you never, but you never, never allow me to join the meeting because we have two kids and it's not uh, uh, <laughs> possible we have attend in the same time. I understand. I understand. Very soon <laughs> we'll get another club to yes. join the different meeting. Different and timing and days are different. Definitely. Yes, we have. Uh, I just inform you that in uh, Pune we have the AT clubs. So you can join any club which suit your time. Thank you. And uh, we have one more guest, Imran. Imran, can you mute your, unmute yourself? I know that you joined the meeting late, but if you share your feedback, it would be nice. Imran? Okay, so now let's move on Himanshu. Himanshu Yadav, would like to share your feedback? 
or your views on this meeting yes sir it's nice to uh, i am looking for uh, joining in future okay in post master thank you thank you so i can say that's a really wonderful and very interactive especially when we interact with the non toast masters and this is only the tailor if you want to see the actual picture actual picture have the drama emotions and definitely learning so get the time and attend one meeting and believe me one meeting change your life this is a fact with this uh, subham are we ready with the certificate yeah let me share my screen first yeah please so table topic moment of glory and based on your vote we yes best table topic second run up guest ashish congratulations guest ashish uh, can anyone be uh, santosh or shivani can you please take picture with ashish so we'll share with them ashish please uh, on your camera yeah yeah i am on yes and smile congratulation yeah thank you so much shivani pick picture uh, is picture second in your spotlight ashish ah uh, yes uh, santosh can you do this for me actually uh, as i am sharing this screen i am not able to do actually i am not uh... just give me a second yeah i'll give you the host has the right yes. i don't have Yes, Santosh. Now you can. Okay. So can you, uh, first run up. Ashish, one second. Sorry. Ashish certificate. Can you screenshot it? Can you please yes, please screenshot? Yeah. Uh, can you switch to the certificate of Ashish first? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Move on. Now next one. Congratulations, Ashish. Yes. A wonderful performance. Yeah. Thank you so much. and first runner up to guest saurab congratulations guest saurab i am sure you feel confident after this yeah sure <laughs> can you spotlight saurab please santosh can you please spotlight saurab uh i cannot because i do not have rights yes you have you have you have coach yes. You are coach now. No, just second. Now, okay. Yeah. I also remove Ashish from the spotlight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations, Saurabh. Nice to see you here. And uh, I think Kajal is not here, right? Uh, yes congratulations kajal for this and uh, i hope you you should have there no problem we will share your certificate from <clears throat> through the phone number and uh, whatsapp or email address whatever we have i think we have done with certification yes okay yeah this uh, so naim yeah so from this uh, yeah so not only the certificate we have also coupons of all three winners we will share the coupons through their whatsapp 
or email, whatever we have. I request please share your contact details so that we can send you certificates and coupons to you. Now time for the group picture. So please on your camera so that we can take group picture and make this movement for long lasting. Any symbol? Ashish, Imran, Nikhil, can you please start, uh, turn on your screen? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I hope all you enjoy this meeting. <clears throat> I again uh, invite to Himanshu for conclude the meeting. No, so, as I said, see, this has been such a wonderful meeting again. And again, from this meeting also, I, there were so many things which, which I am taking with me. The way, you know, Toastmaster Shivani conducted the whole session, it was, it was remarkable, I thought, right? So, uh, this is how it works. And as uh, Toastmaster Santosh said, that this is just the trailer. This is just one small segment of a two-hour meeting that we do. You know, there are many other things and it's a it's an involvement so what i would uh, request uh, everyone is to visit uh, the meeting next week or whenever it's convenient at the earliest and just experience what goes on you know and uh, and then you can decide on your own and secondly this is one investment of two hours that we do on on ourselves and personally i believe that uh, if i look back to my working week, I'm very busy with work and lots of lots of things. But these two hours which I spend with my club are probably the most peaceful, most satisfying and most rewarding two hours of the week. And I, I implore you to come and experience this uh, going forward. <laughs> Yeah, your voice mute. Thank you, Toastmaster Mansu. <clears throat> and with this, I'm going to adjourn this meeting. And if you have any doubts, please contact me or Sivan, uh, Sivani. She has already shared her number. And definitely, it's really helpful for your growth journey. With this, very good morning. And see you again in, see you in a, our regular meeting.